Right, okay, so DJI microphone is now working after it wasn't working. Um, <laughs> again, I don't know quite why it just doesn't seem to want to pick up all of a sudden. Uh, but there we go. I'm a little bit late because I'm trying to settle arguments in Barcelona at the moment. Um, it looks like my three ladies have all fallen out. <sighs> and we've got our first stewards inquiry on Discord going on as well. And that all started just before I was going to come on here. So in some respects, I'm not quite in the right frame of mind for daily races at the minute. So after a fairly interesting session earlier on, um, I'm going to be honest, I really haven't got a clue how this one's going to go. Um, good evening, Drap Fury. Good evening, Welsh boy. And good evening, Colin to Tom. Uh, I hope you're all having a better day than I am. <laughs> oh, my word. Um, I have got my phone on. It's binging away in the background because I've got stuff that's kicking off in Barcelona at the moment. And uh, that's sort of taking my uh, attention somewhat at the moment. So I apologise if from time to time I'm going to be looking down at the phone. Um, it's just it's just what it is, I'm afraid. Um, hopefully they will all come back friends. Um, if not, well, it could be interesting. Could be very, very, very interesting. All right. OK, where are we? We are supposed to be doing some daily races. Um, I'm in the Veyron at the moment. Uh, we had some reasonable races earlier on. The first two were a little bit, they weren't great, should we say, the first couple. Oh, one of the things I am going to do, I'm going to hop into the garage and just change my hard tyres because uh, I have to keep putting the hard tyres on this car all the time and it's driving me crazy uh, but I'm hoping just to do a little bit of time uh, in here tonight and um, I am up very early in the morning so I'm not going to be uh, on here until very very late like we did last night um, but I'm only doing the daily races so I can drop them come and go uh, as and when I please and if you guys want to tune in and follow along that is absolutely brilliant i know a lot of you have been asking how i'm getting on with the daily races and i haven't been doing them today with joe and lauren and ellie in barcelona um i thought that i would give it a go uh, this is leading up to a change to my way of working the channel in july when i hopefully will be doing more of the daily races and building my skills around some of these tracks. Interestingly, the um, the ghost I've been following is falling further and further and further down the uh, down the order. So I guess what I really ought to do is pick a new one. Um, and I guess if you're going to pick one, you might as well pick the top one. Hi, Rudy. Um, right, so. We have picked a what's it, a doodah, and we'll get into it. I apologise, I'm going to be looking at my phone from time to time. Um, unfortunately, that's just the way that, uh, that it is. I was hoping to be on at six o'clock, um, but yeah, I had uh, some arguments going on in Barcelona uh, between my three ladies. I've had a um an issue submitted to the stewards which was originally sent direct to me and i've uh, pointed out the new way of working if somebody has an issue submit it to the stewards public channel in discord uh, and then the stewards will pick it up and talk about it and when i've had enough people that have looked at it and given me their thoughts at that point i will then put up the Collective Stewards decision online and the uh, that is obviously going to come from me because other than the stewards giving me their opinion I don't want them getting involved with the politics of their decision and who said what and if somebody doesn't agree with it 
they can uh, then go off at me about it and not other people. And if people go off at me about it, well, hey, we know how that's going to end. All right, um, I need to start thinking about what I was taught earlier on. Because I had some very, 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 very good advice from a number of people that was helping me to get my time down. And I've just done a whole lap of not even taking any consideration of that because I've got too much rubbish going around in my head. Absolutely, Tom. That's exactly what I was just thinking about. I was just saying that. I need to remember what people were telling me. I've got so much rubbish going around in my head at the moment. Uh, it's hard to focus. And what you said earlier on was exactly what I was just referring to. Remembering what people had told me earlier. 50% downhill, 60% uphill. Oh, looks like we're straight into the race. That was quick. Oh, didn't even get um, very much time at all. So where are we in this one? Um, okay, we're starting right in the middle of the pack. We were starting earlier on. Uh, third or fourth uh, we're now starting eighth so we are going to be deep into shenanigan territory and what i've got to do is to remember to go long on the hairpin and cut back short shift 60 percent flatten up 50 percent downhill stay out of trouble and just try and keep it clean and get through the first few corners that's all we've got to do and then just see if we can get six or above in this one. Oh, game me down. Don't worry about it. I've got I've got grief in Barcelona with Lauren, Ellie, and Joe. Um, it looks like the Hindu's turning into a proper Hindu. They're all bickering, and of course my phone is going left, right, and centre with he uh, she said she said stuff. And then just before I was going to come online. Uh, somebody submitted a um, video to me so and so did this to me yesterday and I turned around and said sorry I don't want to know put it up in the stewards and it's gone up there and I've already had one of the stewards has come back and give me their opinion and I'm waiting for two or three more and then I'll let people know what we feel uh, so I'm not going to comment on that any further right now I want to focus on what I'm doing here Without offending anybody, uh, those of you that have been following me this week will know I am getting a little bit tired of all the bickering that's going on at the moment. Um, this is racing after all. And we all seem to have forgotten that we're not professionals.
Maverick gearbox. Or did that go a bit too far off? I should have hit him a bit harder, shouldn't I? Oh, I got clobbered behind. Crikey, mate, what are you doing, Casper? Right, we're into a real bargy one. That's off, that's a penalty. If ever I saw one, that's a penalty. Getting roughed up a bit in this one.
Well, we got roughed up in that one a little bit, but hey ho, uh, seventh. I'd like sixth, but we got seventh. Give me, I am still checking my phone constantly. Um, oh, thank goodness for that. Have a nice evening. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right, so positions race one. Clean race bonus. Even though everybody was bumping and grinding me. I think there's an awful lot of my paint spread all over lots of different cars in that race. Uh, John, can you check the rankings, Mitch? Time lapse on the track. Um, yeah, uh, for the friends or for, um, select from garage, um, rankings. I'm assuming you want hours, do you? Who are we looking for, my friend? So we've got Jack Kobe up front, then Dan, Alto, College of Tom. Edinburgh Lad, Rimac, Turbulent, Bleeding Edge, Fabriere, Shumi, Amber Bugs, Jackie Dotona, Joey Tempest, Maximum, Never Quit. I tell you, I've got a lot of friends. A lot of friends. Um, Nick's the game in. Dublin Dave was watching earlier on. Boots and Cats is in there. Bones. Uh, I'm down in 24th. Um, John, you're Speedy B, aren't you? Where's, where, did I have I called out Speedy B yet? Where's Speedy B? Where's Speedy B? The thing is, I've got so many friends, mate. There we go. Wow, that's all right. 63rd. That's okay. A 135.6. Yeah, Speedy's got 135.6. I'm phased, he's not on my list yet. Um, there we go. Um, right, I am going to dive in for another one. Um, I'm going to get out and do some qualifying time. Um, uh, Sweetie beat his time with the McGann. Um, I'm just trying to get uh, quicker with the um with the veyron at the moment that seems to be my car of choice uh just double checking that the traction control is off the car settings um uh, brake balance two to the rear whether it will stay there or not who knows Got a different uh, ghost car to follow this time. Not the one that I have been following. Wow, that one's right over on the grass and there. And there. Right in all the corners. Oh, I've gone too deep through there. Tight on that one too. Boy, oh boy. And there. Good golly, this guy is like inch perfect. If I did that, I'd be getting track limits everywhere. Hi, Alto.
Uh, good evening, everybody. I have, um, I'm not watching the chat overly closely tonight for obvious reasons. So uh, if I'm not saying hello to everybody, I apologise. I'm obviously focusing very much on what I'm doing here. never quite know where to have the brake balance very often I'll just leave it in the middle moved it to the front just to try and get a bit more bite yeah, track limits are crazy that's why I'm following this guy and he's so near the track limits Oh, I'm totally out of oh no that was horrendous let's put it back to the middle that's better already Let's just uh, take a little bit of a break, uh, just for a moment or two. You do better than that. I think what I'm doing is I'm following a ghost now that is very, very close to the limit. And um, I'm not that precise. I'm not that good. interesting discussion going on in um in the discord it's quite interesting because we've got two steward channels one is public where every well where everybody can post an issue and then everybody can publicly discuss it and we've also got a private stewards channel where seven of us can just discuss it and i'm i've chosen people for certain reasons i'm not going to go into what and why i've gone into uh, i've chosen people for certain reasons and to try and get a balanced view of an incident and it's going to be very interesting to see the discussion how it pans out between the public and the the private discussion once the private discussion has been finished over the next day or two um, i will review what's been said and then i will collate a steward's answer which will come from me but it will be the collective decision
Um, the reason for those of you that are, are watching, I've got 18 at the moment. Um, I'll probably cover this more on Monday when we've got more of the regular guys in. Uh, I just started to get a little bit bogged down with all of the, um, let me say, mudslinging that was going around. And it was getting me down. And um, it was suggested by somebody um, that a stewards forum would be a good idea. And then a few people in the community said the same thing. And uh, that's the reason why that has occurred. Um, I might just put this in the middle. For this one i'm just not sure about this brake balance at all if i'm honest <coughs> right here we go i'm going to be very quiet guys i'm going to concentrate like crazy we're starting to fourth this one so i need to stay out of trouble hopefully nobody's going to come charging from the back and do anything silly I got taken out big time earlier on. Proper, proper cannonball it was. Massive. Right, come on, chill, calm down. It's all good, it's all good, it's just a game. Not important. It's just a game. Keep telling yourself that, Mitchell, and you might actually believe it. My steering's going super light into that first corner, like it wasn't earlier on. Something's different, I'm doing something different. It's like the front of the car is lifting off the ground or something. Just no traction whatsoever.
that was a bit close. Got to remember that the bay runs a bit wide. I nearly ran into the back of him. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's 
guys were quick. Interesting, you know, with the leading Veyron, that's a Lancia, uh, sorry, Lancer, a Genesis, and the WRX ahead of me. Two four by fours. Wow. A clean race bonus is going to help the S rating. But it's that B rating I need to improve. Um, for those of you that have just joined, where are we with this? Um, there we go. We are, again, still halfway up the B. The S is now maxed out, which is good. But we are halfway up the B, and I just do not seem to be able to move from where I am. If it is moving, it's moving pixel by pixel. Um so we'll just have to see how it goes. Leroy, good evening. Good evening, Alto. College of Tom, Reese, uh, John, hi, Faz. Uh, I'm phased. There's so many people I, I, I can't say everybody. I see Cheech is up there. Um, good evening to all of you. Uh, Collie de Tom, draw a line on your screen. Why? Why would I want to draw a line on my screen? <laughs> um, I'm interested now. As to why... Why? Oh, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, put like a little... Yes, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, yeah, I should do I should do that. Trouble is, when I'm driving... I'll just be looking at that line all the time. It'll drive me nuts. That's the sort of thing that would drive me crazy. Um, what I ought to do is to do a screen grab of where I'm at. I ought to do a screen grab of where I'm at and then I can overlay the two, one at the beginning and one at the end. So let's do that. Uh, take a screenshot. That's where we're at. What a brilliant idea. Thank you, Tom. That's a cool idea. That's a very good idea. Because uh, I'm sitting here beating myself up, it's not moving. But of course, if it is moving just a little bit, then that's all good. But I'm just not going to notice it. Um, what I am going to do, because that, that guy was so quick that I was following. I'm going to come back to the one that I have been following. And I'm going to load that guy. So I know I should probably load the other one. Um, but I'll load that one and uh, we'll see how we go. So TCS is off. Ideally, I really need to find a few more tenths of a second on my lap time. Um, but I seem to be struggling to break into the low 133s at the moment it whoa oh that was jolly close in fact i think i did hit it yeah i did well i didn't hit the wall but i got track limit for something i was right over the side there let's do a retry Yep. Change up early.
Okay. I'm not used to changing the brake balance midway through the uh, race. I'm just... I hear what you're saying. I'm just concerned that's going to give me... I, I'm, I'm struggling to remember to brake up early enough at the moment, let alone what I should be doing with the brake balance. Um, You want it to the front. Okay. So put it to the front. So I'm able to throw the back out and get on the power early. Okay. That just seems to slide though when I do that. I just feel like the, the car is just sliding sideways. Just losing the front end. Okay, I might have to practice that. I'll, I'll leave it as zero for the race and then practice that. So the consensus of opinion is put the brake balance two to the front. Yeah, it just seemed to be an awful, it, it, it felt a lot, 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 lot different when I had it to the front. Uh, I thought it would grip more into the corners because there's more brake power on the front. In other words, it would bite on the front more. So I wasn't quite expecting the car to drift in the way it was doing. Uh, so it just, it threw me a little bit, just threw me a little bit. Um... Okay, so we're starting seventh this time. Let's see how we go. I haven't checked my phone. I'll leave my phone until the end. Think about one thing at a time. Hopefully the girls have sorted themselves out now. I won't be interested in the stewards discussion until 
tomorrow morning. I can park that for the moment. <laughs> right. interesting what you said about drive style Tom I've had a couple of people that have analyzed my driving style people that are supposed to know what they're they're doing over the years and a lot of people have said I, I don't drive like a sim racer um, without trying to sound too cocky they actually say I'm quite smooth um, and therefore I don't always need to compensate of things if that makes sense that sounded really cocky and I wasn't meant that way at all it's like my strategy last night uh, in the um, at Barcelona everybody in the know was saying that changing the tyres that early would never work um, yeah it had been working in my lobby last night all right I probably went a lap too early but a lot of people were telling me to go really deep on the hards to like lap six or seven instead of changing at the end of lap four I should have changed at the end of lap five on the outside give him some room looking at the radar He's still there, I think he is, isn't he? Oh. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. How did I force another car off the track? I got forced off the track. What the hell?
What's that all about? I get a one and a half second for being punted off the track. What a rubbish race. What the heck? Should I just quit this one? No point carrying on, is there? Is it another one? What is going on? Well, that was, com well, no, I need to look at the replay. But how on earth? Uh, College of Tom, the moment I started focusing on my exit, I started to get faster and that's why I often brake soon. And I always try to apply the minimum brake pressure needed. I try and do the same. Um, a lot of trying to focus on the exit at the next corner and, and how to get through that quickly and get on the power early and well that was pretty rubbish um, so we drop right back again but what on earth what on earth was all that about I pushed somebody off Really? I feel a learning 
A learning lesson coming on. I need to understand that because it's really got me, really got me wound up. It's not often I want to quit. That one I've very nearly bailed out of. I get smacked and I get the penalty. That was a lap, wasn't it, that I got? No, I, the penalty was for me bashing somebody off. It actually came up. I don't know if, if you could see. Um, you'll be able to see it on the uh, on the channel. The penalty was for me running a car off the track. Okay, I'll have to look. But all this, I'm sure it came up and said um, we're knocking somebody off the track. But even so, I, yeah, if you get hit and you get in, oh, that's stupid. That is stupid. I mean, of course I'm going to hit the barrier if somebody's hit me. This game is stupid, Coda. Why do we bother playing it? Why, oh, why do we bother playing it? Hi, Andy. And this is why I'm never going to make A. Because I constantly take in one step forward and one step back in this stupid game. Why do we put ourselves through this, guys?
Why, oh why do we put ourselves through it? And it's crazy, isn't it? I mean, how hard is it in the code to say, were you hit? Yes, no penalty. The problem is with the code, it's just black and white. Did you hit the barrier? Yes. I mean, the fact that you've gone into the barrier anyway is penalty enough. Because you've lost time so you know it's just rubbing salt in a wound in my mind Don't ever quit. Oh, it's the biggest knock to your ratings. I don't normally let things like that get to me, but... I'm going to have to watch the video back because I'm sure it said running a car off the track. You're probably right, it probably was a barrier and it just got to me. Can't, I think I'm destined to be a B racer for the rest of my life. And that's fine. That's fine. I can live with that if that's what it's supposed to be. At the end of the day, I'm in my late 50s. This is a young man's sport. <laughs> um. I know my place. I just need to channel my inner Fernando, I think. I need to wrap up Fernando, Kimmy and um, 
What's his name? Oh, God, I forgot his name. No! Who am I trying to think of? Kimmy Fernando and... Um, yeah, doesn't matter. Where are you going? Crikey, you talk about weaving down the straight. Google Vortex of Doom, my friend. You might learn something. Although I need to close that off a little bit more. I talk like I never do anything wrong, but I'm one of the worst. Oh, no, 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 did that too tight. Got that wrong. Might be another one. That's a little bit un unsighted through there.
we gone green yet? We must have by now. Oh! Oh, big slow down there. From somebody. Defend, learn to defend into that hairpin. Oh, hit again. Go on, take him out, mate. These races are crazy today. That was as rough as you like too. Oh, Dan, that's interesting. Uh, I've heard via the grapevine, the best races to get your ratings up a daily race C due to the length and the many split times. Don't know how true it is, but it does make sense. OK, and Reese is saying it's the weekend, Mitch. OK. Uh, the only thing is, I've <laughs> this is a double whammy is i've been working on my gr4 cars and trying to get racing without traction control and trying to get better with those cars um so <laughs> am i am i trying am i trying the wrong car um that is going to be the question or do i have to wait until it is um GR4s on Daily Race C. I mean, GR2s at Fuji. Oh, I don't. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared for that one. Whereas I'm prepared for this one. So, let, let, I'll stick. I'm going to take what you said uh, on board. And um, and just see what's happening. Drac, what on earth were you in to go from 16th to 8th versus the Veyrons? What were you driving? Uh, 
Uh, I need to, to upshift earlier. To, am I still upshifting too late, Tom? You were using the Sylvia around here. My word. Is that better or not? Okay, I'm going to work on that then. Trying to listen to the engine note more. Well, too deep, too deep in there. Didn't get that slowed down at all.
Oh, well, too long. Uh, no track, I haven't tried running up from the barriers. Uh, never even thought about doing that, to be honest. trying to focus more on the exit speeds at the moment as well as the, the gears so working on two things at once at the moment Pushing that corner entry a little bit too long. I need to brake as I was just a little bit before the curb. Um, no, I haven't tried the run-up jack yet. Um, I had not even thought about doing a run-up for a fastest lap. I'm assuming that works. That's a tip, is it? Okay. Cool. All right, I'll get that will. Give that a try. I guess that's just a, a, a one lap flyer. Obviously. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's see if we can stay out of trouble this time. Okay. Let's see if we can stay out of trouble. Sick this time. Still middle of the pack. I've got Badger in here again. That's a penalty. Oh, I was sideways there. 
Oh, that's a horrible penalty. We're in recovery mode already now. Ah, uh, yuck. Oh, and I get taken out into the bargain. And again, and again, that's another penalty. Pray tell me, when do all the kiddies get sent to bed these days? <laughs> They're all now saying, long after you old man, long after you old man. Hi Erland. Yeah, this is a barge fest out here. I've had some good races and I've had some absolute mares. This one is one of those. It didn't help that I got myself a nasty penalty, which has put me right at the back of the grid. Oh, that was me going deep there. Yeah, just push me out of the way, mate. Why don't you? Oh, crikey. Why are you breaking that early? Or are you brake checking me? And another one.
<sighs> Crikey. Talk about, talk about just chuck it up the inside. Got a, I don't know whether on the hairpin to stay out on the inside and just take the racing line and cut in or whether just to go for the cover, the onside of the apex and make the others go around the outside because I've got so many are just sending it up the inside and then I'm having to give them space on the exit, which is just costing me so much time. Um, yeah, maybe that's what I've got to do, Island, in the uh, in the race. Just park it on the apex. Dan, that's an interesting observation, my friend. So you're saying I should just pack up and go home. Well, I built my SR back up today. It's about the only thing I have done today. No, that isn't entirely true. I've had a few good races. So that's my normal line in. Let's try a defensive line next time. Cody just made me jump, dog.
<laughs> He's dreaming. He's dreaming of me standing on the top step with a laurel wreath around my neck. He can dream on too. <laughs> At Ireland, I was just trying something that somebody suggested. This stage, I am prepared to try anything to try and get an edge. But I've come to the conclusion that my time is what my time is. Francisco boring. Yes, my friend, I suspect it is. <laughs> oh. Have you ever considered to use kilometers per hour instead of miles? I often check my speed at certain points to see if I am faster. No, that's not something I've tried either. I know Kushti often will have the um, sector times up and he will know what sector time he needs for each one. Um, but I'm just not quite consistent enough to do that I can be up on one down on another up on one down on another um, oh. Oh. 
Right. Let's see how it go. Wait to be ten to nine. I will need to take Coda down the road for a few minutes shortly. Uh, just a Dr Pepper. Dr Pepper Zero. In other words, flavoured water. That's all that is. And I've got plain water in here, but I've finished it. Uh, I will be filling that up in a minute. Why does kilometres per hour give more detailed info than miles? Surely it's... I'm going to sound really stupid now, but surely it's just the speed. Um, for a corner, you're doing 150, or you're doing, I don't know what it is in kilometres, 180. Um, so I'm a bit confused as to why kilometres an hour would be any different to miles an hour. Forgive me, I, I can't... I can't compute the logic there. It's got to be one. It's got to be some logic there somewhere, but I can't work out what it is. Uh, and I mean that in the nicest possible way. Right, sixth place. What can we do in this one? We did okay this afternoon. This evening it just seems a bit there. all that about back there what on earth was all that about Oh, that's a penalty. I went across the line too much there. I did stay off the power, I think. Is that going to save me or not? Probably not.
Not sure if that was any better or whether I should have just followed him through. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. Might be over the line. If it wasn't, it was darn close. I'm pushing these track limits. How can that person earlier on say this is boring? That, my friends, is for all you guys who helped me today. 
that is for you. Woo! Sorry, just woke everybody up. <laughs> that is for you. Everybody that has helped me this afternoon. Whoa! That's something you don't see very often. Fastest lap, clean race, and the victory. Five positions raised. Have I ever seen that image? Have I ever seen that image online? Oh, oh my word that was tough and Faye says and for all our help we get a brand new racing setup how grateful of you oh what racing setup have you got I haven't got a racing setup um guys I am going to be really um sad now um, I'm going to take a 10 or 15 minute break. Coda needs to go down the road. I need to settle down because I'm shaking like a leaf. I am shaking like a leaf. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, wow. I never thought that was going to happen. What has that done to the... It must have jumped me up a little. It's, <laughs> it's barely moved it. <laughs> Uh, but as I think Tom said, I need to uh, I need to see what that's done to um, what that's done to it. So I'm, I'm going to take a screenshot and I'll I'll lay the two over later on and just see how that's done. But um, I yeah, I need to get away from this for the moment, guys. So I'm I'm apologize that this is a little bit sad and a little bit defeatist, but I'm shaking like you wouldn't believe. the microphone away <laughs> oh gosh um yeah <laughs> yeah you know what i'm like <laughs> you know what i'm like right guys i am going to disappear for a few minutes about 10 or 15 minutes just take coda down the road um he normally goes out at nine o'clock and then we'll be back to see if we can do that all over again um something tells me we won't um but uh, that DER has come up a little bit, which is encouraging. Let me see. I'll see you in a minute. Bye bye.
case have we got sound back can you guys can you give me a thumbs up guys if you can hear me when i came back obs had ditched the sound again i don't quite know what's going on with obs lately now it is yeah i when i came back the first thing i did was just checked the um the little gauge and uh was not working was not working cool we're back we're back we're back well uh, Jack, are we racing tonight? Uh, fortunately not, mate. I'm just doing some daily races. A lot of people want me to get back into the daily races. And I thought tonight with Joanna and Lauren away, I'd give it a try because I don't normally stream on a Saturday. I'm normally sitting down with those guys doing family stuff. Um, and my plan is to do this sort of thing for a couple of hours, Monday to Friday uh, during the day at some point. I've just got to talk to my boss and see if I can get some hours shifted around. Um, but if I can do that, then that's that's what I want to do. because I want to carry on with the lobby racing in the evening, but no lobby racing tonight. Um, interestingly, just while I was walking the dog, I'm just having a little break for the moment. Um, I was just listening back on the chat on the, the stream just to make sure the sound was OK and everything. And I hit the bit where I said he's dreaming of me being on the top step and then blow me down. What do we go and do the next race? We went and stuck it on the top step. So Coda needs to be back in here dreaming a lot more. Cheers to all you guys that helped me this evening. Um, lots of advice again um, coming through on the chat, which um, I can't thank you all for enough. And um, I know it isn't really, uh, but that little win was just a thank you from me to say thank you for all of the advice that you've given me and um it's all good advice it's all good advice a few things i do need to work on a few things i need to take away the brake balance need to work on and i've noticed that uh, somebody forgive me i don't know who it was but somebody i think in the discord has sent me um a few tips on brake balance and i have also bookmarked a few um, videos on brake balance to read so um it's not Jack Daniels, it's just pure sugar free Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper Zero. Flavoured water. <laughs> right, okay, are we up for another one? Um, I think I've just about calmed down now. Um, I don't know when the, the next race is in eight minutes, so not too long to wait. Um, but yeah, we just got a win. We just got a win. I can't believe that we have just got a win. Uh, thank you, Tom. Oh, Speedy on the brake balance. Thank you, Speedy. Um, incidentally, um, I don't know how many people, 17 people. So I'll, I'll cover this off on Monday. But uh, Speedy's been helping with the Discord. So um, he's, we've got a new channel with his stories. Of some of the races that we do, uh, mostly on the Friday night ones, I think it is. Uh, but some of the uh, the races, when a story comes to his head, he, he does some great little uh, comedic stories um, so they've gone up on a channel purely dedicated to him and also he's given me a script which will let you guys know when certain streamers are streaming the ones that we've chosen um, I think I can add new streamers to the uh, to the list um, but there we go uh, Speedy is a great guy uh, but you still love to get on his nerves oh well I'm hoping I'm not getting on his nerves right now um right okay where are we let's um i sent to this race and um i'm gonna hope i don't do what i normally do which is to go from hero to zero normally when i get a decent race the next one is a complete bin uh, i usually just spin it bin it just crash out bump into people it's just like in one race I've got plenty of skill and in the next race it's like all that skills evaporated um and it's potluck so i'm hoping that that isn't going to happen but we shall see so we've got six minutes i'm not in any great rush i might just toodle around um and we'll see we're in the veyron tonight um my fastest lap was in the Mitsubishi but I think we might have um yeah we have we've we've taken it up to 133.597 in the Veyron uh so that's a 
about half a second, I think, quicker than I did. Is it half a second? It's either half a second or like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a second faster. So not an awful lot. Um, but you can see we've got a lot of good races in here um, with different cars. So Scott Jeggers is in there with the Lance uh, Evolution just behind me. Dutchie's in with the G70. Uh, Island Grown is in with the G70. Mad Mike is in with the Veyron. We've got another G70. We've got Citroen with Boots and Cats. Uh, Dublin Davis in the Lance, uh, Charismatic is in the Mazda 3. Uh, then we've got Veyron, a G70, a Lancer, uh, some more Veyrons, a WX. Jackie Dakota in the WX. Um, Shumi in a Hurricane. Uh, Rimac in a Veyron. Edinburgh Lad in the G70. College of Tom in a Veyron. Alto, Dan and Jack Kobe all in Veyron. So Veyron does seem to be the tip of, top of the tree. Uh, but some cracking times and still a lot of times so I don't even feature on the top 10 yet. Not that I'm likely to with a list like that. We shall see. Uh, College of Tom says um, first laps are often the best. Then it goes downhill. You keep you still keep racing and that's where you get really fast. Absolutely. I should do that. I shall do that. Right. Let's um, let's just get out there. Hopefully the uh, video and the audio is OK. Put it over to the game and let's get back into this i think i did have to put my little defending thing into practice in that last one um, which i think came off uh, again i'm going to watch the video back and see what i can learn although obviously i won't be running this race anymore after tonight because i won't be doing any um, racing tomorrow i'll be spending my time with uh, joe tomorrow um, got to pick her up tomorrow morning and I've got a five o'clock start tomorrow I'm going to be taking Coda out first thing with my neighbour and uh, then I've got a couple of bits to do then head off to the airport to pick the girls up so um, I won't be late tonight because obviously I've got a very early start and I won't be online tomorrow if any of you are racing good luck tomorrow if any of you are racing tonight good luck good luck good luck and those of you at the B races, where are you? Come on, let's come out and join me. Let's um, let's see if we can race together. At the moment, I'm not particularly going for a fast lap. I'm just um, almost just in a warm-up chill mode. But I guess every time you come out of the lap on the track, it should be a hot lap. So. Oh, I could be on wasting time. Precious time at that. Let's just go around and see if we can have another go at that. That chicane, that uh, hairpin. I still feel I'm losing too much time into there. That said, what I'm finding in the B lobby at the moment is it's just a case of getting through there in one piece. Not necessarily getting through there quick, it's just getting through there in one bit. It seems to be a punt fest into there half the time. And you're either in the right place or the wrong place. I can't decide whether it's people doing it on purpose whether they're just out breaking themselves I'm hoping it's just people out breaking themselves but at least we've had a couple of decent clean races if that will continue then I'll be happy Yeah, Tom, keep reminding me, mate. Keep reminding me. I need to be shifting up around about the top of the six, don't I? Uh, the top of the, the gear number, there. And I'm leaving it to the red gear number, which is a bit too late. First lap, try to keep your distance. If it gets messy, I can get through. 
Yeah, I was preaching all last week on the channel that you don't win a race into the first corner and I'm trying to put into practice what I'm preaching. I just want to try and get through this first corner, for, for, through the first few, see who is a bit pushy, who's going to play fair and then try and pick my battles from there. Once or twice tonight I have let somebody through who looks a bit pushy just to safeguard the position. I know I shouldn't be doing that. But sometimes I've I've done that to protect the fourth or third place. I guess you're never gonna win with that sort of attitude, but come to the conclusion that my brain is not hardwired like a proper professional racer. Right, okay, here goes nothing. What do we think now? What do we think? Uh, Het Race is back in. We've had some bumps with uh, that racer tonight. There's a few, um, there's a few names in here. Hey, Amber Bugs is in. Hi, Amber. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have enough time. Uh, I get that. <laughs> uh, keep in mind on what you're doing. I'm waiting for some of you to jump in and get in the room. Right, let's just do some double checks. Just on the rundown. So here we go. Traction control off, brake balance middle. Radar on. Breathe. Concentrate, just think about that first corner. Hold tyres, stay out of trouble, just get through the first few corners. Starting eight, so we're right in the middle of the pack. We couldn't be any more middle if we tried. I didn't look to see if we've got any A or A rated races in. I think we're all Bs. We'll have to see. Cold tyres. I think we've got a Bob Marley fan in front of us. It's a cool livery, I like that. But I haven't got time to uh, enjoy the livery. I nearly followed him in. Drive the track, Mitchell, not the car in front. Ah, oh, bumped. Bailey again. He does just love putting his nose in there. Annoyingly, I didn't even see. I I knew it was a car on the inside, but I didn't realise he was uh, going down into the inside like that. Uh, 
I oh, know, you caught the wall. That's gonna hurt. Bad. Everybody's gonna come flying by. Can I swear? Blabber jack a ragga raggaroo. All that was about having another look at that livery. That's what that was. Well, I've blown this one, haven't I? did tell you I'm going from hero to zero. Mikey. You guys wanted elbows out, this is elbows out. This is more like bumper cars than Gran Turismo.
Oh, gone too deep. Left that too late. Move on from that one. Don't even want to see the comments. That was awful. Oh, awful, awful, awful. Hmm. That was terrible. Least said about that one, the better, eh, lads? Lee said soonest mended. That's what they say. Oh, that's right off the track. Surely. I'm going to have to look at that again in a moment. He's barely on that kerb either. Wow, these guys up the front are really, really pushing the track limits. Change up early, Mitchell. Stop enjoying the ghost car and concentrate. This guy's really pushing the limits. I'm not sure I can, um, my driving is that precise.
Hi Descent Guy, how you doing my friend? I haven't caught up with your channel in a while, I've been very busy. I must do that. In fact, why is your channel not showing up in my notifications? I'm going to have to check that. Hi Matt. Incidentally, I apologise to anybody that I haven't said hello to that's joined the chat. Uh, this evening I'm trying the daily races and it's getting a bit serious. So my concentration is pretty much solely on the daily races and I'm not spending too much time watching the chat. Um, Boy, oh boy. Uh, for, thanks for popping your head in if you haven't already guys please smack the like button for this video that uh, really really do my make my day um i'm just thinking that this might have just crashed oh no 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 we're good oh right the sim guy hey mitchell you look younger today what's the recipe um with everything that's going on today, I'd have thought I looked a lot older. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe it's the key light. I've got the key light on today. I can turn it off if you want. There you go. Is that better? <laughs> um, oh, crikey. Where are we? 12. Oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a minute. We've got a load of A's. Oh, crumbs. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five A's in here. Oh no, we're going into a whole new world of pain. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, um, I am going to be zero, zero attention on the chat, guys. Um, I apologise if I'm ignoring you, but this is going to be a hundred percent concentration. Right, right, um, there, uh, right. We've got traction control is off, brake balance is middle, and radar is on. We're in 12th. I've got my mate Bailey behind me. Here we go. Do, 
deep breaths. Remember to breathe, Mitchell. Remember to breathe. Got a much longer run to the uh, to the line this time.
That was fair enough, I went wide. He put a nose up the inside and penalised me for that, but it was always going to happen. <laughs> Up two positions. Well, I could have done better there. I wasn't quite aggressive enough, I don't think. Still got to learn to get my elbows out a bit more. Uh, B's gone backwards. <laughs> Hmm. Come back to a little bit on that one. Uh, just for those of you joining me, we have moved it up a little bit. Uh, we were just under halfway. We're now just over halfway, but it's um, coming up so, so slowly. Is Does everybody struggle to get up through the B ranking? Um, I don't remember it being so difficult to get through the lower rankings, the Ds and the Cs as B. Uh, maybe I've just hit my skill point um uh, i know tom's just said that is a sign that you're becoming ready to be an a-rated driver but i just feel i'm just so far off it um thank you for the compliments guys thank you um yeah i just don't feel as if i've got the edge uh in some respects i also don't really feel that i've got the winning mentality either um i just want to have nice clean races and i think that if you want to win in the daily races it seems you've got to you see a gap you've got to do it and center said and you've got to go for it that means you're swapping paint you're swapping paint um uh, so drac fury is getting bashed around in b2 uh the same guy i do struggle for b lower b lobbies are just horrible um yeah, we've had some it, it's polarizing the races uh, this afternoon 
The first two I jumped into were awful. It was a real pump fest. Then I had a couple of races that were really good. Then I had a few that were really bargy, but I was managing to hold my own. Uh, then I think I got a podium and a first or something. I'll have to check back on the video to see exactly what I've got. I can't remember if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, but we did get a first place, which was a massive surprise. And I, took, I had to take a break. I took a break. And since I come back this evening, it just seems really rammy, really rammy. I'm wondering whether I'm just getting tired and fatigued and therefore my awareness is dropping a little bit. And maybe I'm just getting a little bit tired. Maybe, you know, doing the races for this long is not a particularly good idea. Um, but with Joe away in Barcelona today, uh, I thought I would take this opportunity to um, see what we could do. Hello, mate. Yeah, they're not here. They're not here. No, they're not. I've fed you. I've done your eyes. You've been out. I'm racing now. This is my time. Yes, it is. Um, uh, you're not getting over there. One day sleep, but you know you're getting there. <laughs> yeah, I love that. If it feels impossible, remember, I am possible. There is no impossible, only that I am possible. Uh, excuse me, aim to avoid penalties. Yeah, I've let myself. This is what I was saying about I'm wondering whether fatigue and tiredness is setting in a little bit. I'm, I've got a headache that's starting and I'm wondering whether I've just done a little bit too much today. <laughs> oh, there's my quote of the day. The word says I'm impossible and nobody is perfect. And John, he's nobody. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love your positivity, mate. I really do. You should meet my neighbour. He's the uh, positive one in our road. Uh, even when things are going really rubbish, he's so positive. Um, I wish a little bit of that would rub off on me. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised, I'm surprised I haven't seen any sort of friend friends in here. The problem is I've got so many friends now. It's hard to um, keep up with it all. Forgive me, guys. I'm just taking a break for the moment. I know I should be out on track, but I just need to just just reset. So I've just had a little bit of a break just to calm the nerves down a little bit. Where are we? We're at 10 o'clock. Um, I've got another 55 minutes tops. 11 o'clock, I must call it a night because I'm up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, that's some cracking. I mean, I've, I've got so many people in my friends list. It's crazy. Um, so, at the moment... Let's have a little look. We've got Jack Kobe is first. Dan, I'm not going to read the whole name in second because I can't. Um, Alto is in third. Collier de Tom is fourth. Edinburgh Lad is in fifth. Edinburgh Lad's on fire, lady. Uh, Rimac is in sixth. That's pretty cool. Turbulent is in seventh. Bleeding Edge is eighth. Crabbery, uh, see, a lot of these guys I don't see anymore. I really ought to clean out my friends list. Um, because Turbulent, Bleeding Edge and Fabry I never see. Ashumi, one of my favourite racers to watch and learn from, is in 10th. I ought to catch up with some of the others as well. I mean, Tom, uh, I love used to love watching Tom's uh, replays. Uh, Jack, Kobe, Dan and Alto, all great people to follow. Um, Amber Bugs, uh, we've been racing with Amber a little bit this evening, but Amber is so far ahead of me, um, not really managing to... Uh, cause uh, Amber any issues uh, Jackie Daytona is in 12th Joey Tempest is in 13th Maximum's 14th um, Never Quit 15th Nixter 16th Ashen Man Charismatic Dublin Dave was on earlier on in 19th Boots and Cats been racing with Boots and a little uh, for a few races recently in 2020 
one bones we've seen mad mikey's up there in the veyron in 22 island grown in 23 i'm in good company here look mad mikey island grown scott cheggers dutchy cool what's going on i'm i'm mixing it with you guys and bones and boots and all quick people really quick people uh chris peacock gamer down is in um uh, 28th kuro 29th uh caps look i haven't seen in a while uh cold trickle i haven't seen in a while reese in 33 mint detail 35 jonesy 36 uh, Hugh, Hugh Hattrick doing the interviews in 38. Wacky Jabaki, haven't seen in a while. Baz in, 40, in 41st. Very, very, I mean, only 134.3s. So these are still great times. Jenkins in there at 43. Drat Fury is in 44. Bean, 45. Uh, David Parker, haven't seen in a long time. Orbalator, look at that. 49, wicked. Malkovich is there too in 50. Greg White, 53. Ryan, Mutley, uh, Jeff's there, Ashley Lewis, who was racing with yesterday, uh, earlier this week in 62, Jackie Boy in 63, Speedy B in 65th, in the, uh, is that a ring taxi or is it a safety car, that one, Speedy, I'm not quite sure, um, Leroy Jenkins, and we've got Uncle June, Carl Brennan, and uh bogs carl's doing okay you know he's um new new to the race to the uh to the game he's doing well so um yeah normal taxi so we've got normal taxi cool 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 so those are all of my sort of friends list that are doing that and at the moment we are sitting in 24th amongst some pretty good company but there's some nice times in there bogs don't worry about bringing up the rear mate you're on the the list and it means that you're working towards climbing up the list there was a time when i was right down the bottom of my friends list and um it never phased me all all i wanted to do I, what i do is i use the friends list personally i use the friends list to see who's around me and then when we're in the lobbies those are the guys that i'm trying to beat respectfully in our evening lobbies i've given the game away now i've never told anybody that but that's what I use that friends list for. I'll look at maybe the top three and the top three underneath me or the top three above and below that. Um, that I race with regularly. Um, yeah, the, the, the so the people that race on a regular uh, with me in the evening, I'm mixing my words because I'm thinking about the race. Um, I'll pick the top, the, the three above and the three below. And those are the three that I want to race with. Um, Bog says, who are you calling old? I'm old. I'm old. Oh, all right, here we go. Right. Uh, I'm going to go quiet again, guys. Uh, where are we? Where are we in this one? I didn't look. That was a bit silly. Don't feel prepared for this one. I'm getting tired. I'm getting to that point where I'm just relaxing and not so ninth. Um, relaxing and not concentration levels have dropped massively if i'm honest so things could could potentially start to go to pot a little bit i'm hoping they don't oh amber's on pole well done amber um oh god wouldn't it be great if i could catch amber oh that would be wicked a little bit too far down the road i feel um, i'm going to set my sights too high i'm a top six would be nice um, but I'm um, um, yeah I'm wondering if I'm just getting a bit tired got a wheel on the grass there Following Marco through, not racing my lines, racing the car in front, don't want to do that. Because if they go off, you go off, you need to race the track. While also being aware of who is around you so you don't hit them.
Oh, no penalties from anybody through there. How far is the car behind? Oh, well, he's right there. Oh, yeah, one had a penalty. Well, I've gone deep into there. Why did that go deep when I broke early? Got a car on the inside. I need to give him some room. Oh, it's TV, gaming TV. We've been scrapping all night long. The pair of us. The amount of wheel side-by-side -side action gaming TV and I have had has been crazy tonight. But I tell you what, he's a very respectful racer. Oh, he got a slide there. That's going to let him through. He's through. my mistake and now we've got Het Race oh, who loves to um, give you a little bump from time to time I hope my gear changes are better. Whoa! We've got some shenanigans going on there. Saw that coming from way back. Got that bit wrong. Come on, gather it up, gather it up. I feel sorry for Gamer TV because we're having a great old scrap there, and then he gets into that other guy and he just takes him out. And now I've got a G70 charging down behind me. Oh, come on, change up sooner, Mitchell. What are you doing? Come on. You know what you've been told. 
do it. Shall I thank him for the push to pass? Or shall I let it go? What do we think? That's not synced to their levels. Where do we get to in that one? Oh, B went up a little bit. My S went down, I think, got a bump. Whew. Right. I can get another one in. We can do another one. Good race. Mitchell upshift is better, but sometimes forgets to shift downhill. In the slipstream, shift early. Can't, Tom. Yeah, keep reminding me. Keep on badgering me and I will get it. I promise. I promise I'll get it. I'm working on the downshifts. I am working uh, on the upshift, sorry. It's just um, sometimes I just get caught up in a moment and I just forget. And I've got, I've got, to, I've got to do better. I'm sorry, mate. I'm letting you down, aren't I? It's especially when I'm in a slipstream good 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 point please keep have keep just keep on at me the wife's away you can be my naggy old wife tonight <laughs> no seriously just keep on at me
catch up earlier, Mitchell. Do what you're... Bleep, 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 well told.
I don't know what my oil is actually. I haven't checked. That's a very good point. Is there any way of checking your oil level um, at this point? Yeah, in the game. Um, so I haven't checked that all afternoon, if I'm honest. I'm probably worn oil. I bet it's in a really bad condition. Tom, that is a really good shout. And Drac. I really hadn't thought about that. The trouble is, I'm, I'm committed now, aren't I? Am I, commit am I committed to this race? I think I am. Is there any way of... I don't think there is. But I think I'm committed now, aren't I? Am I committed to the race? No, I wasn't. Cool. All right, let's um, let's go out and do check the oil. Oh no, no I cancel the entry. Yes. Uh, Oh, Tom's just said all condition is on normal. How how could you tell, Tom? Oh, Drax just asked the same question. Yeah, so my, my oil was on normal, so it did need doing. But how on earth did you know, Tom? Like, we need to know your secret. There's a secret that I am not aware of. Okay, so I've got four minutes before I can start this one. Um, so if we go out in the car, I need to know Tom's secret. Because there's no oil light on there. Is it on a different view? No. Oh, when you said it was con oil condition is on normal, I thought you meant my oil condition was normal. In other words, I thought you could tell from this view that my oil was normal. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Um, I, I do check my oil, but what I, I'm, I'm a bit bad. What I tend to do is I tend to change it at the beginning of a session, but then I forget to change, check it during the actual running. Um, which I need to do. I need to go in and change, get in the habit of ch checking the oil every few races, I guess, or every hour. 
what I ought to do when I'm doing this is set my alarm on my phone every hour to just check the oil and change it. I don't know if it makes any difference, I'm assuming that it does. There's no point in me rotating with a penalty, I don't know why I'm bothering with that. Oh, oil condition halfway through is best, so what, when it's normal is best. And I've just changed it. <laughs> oh my word. Why do I always focus much more on the corners when I'm not following the ghost than when I'm following the ghost? That said, I just messed that one up. Just what I was thinking about that. Load cell brake pedals are brilliant. I know I'm out of kilter with the chat, uh, but I've found the load cell brake pedal to be an absolute game changer for me. Oh, mm. Ooh, starting to get a little bit tired now. Thank you for watching guys, uh, 22 on the stream, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, that would be absolutely smashing. Um, okay, I've got nothing from the girls, which is good.
Thank you. Ooh. I will be doing. So I'm just checking a few things, guys. Okay. For some reason, my telemetry app has decided to die. Right, connect. Come, connect up. Why are you not connecting? Is that connected up? Would really like to see the condition of my tyres. No, I'm going to have to completely reconfigure you. Good evening MC. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done the daily races. I totally fell out of love with them for a while. Uh, I got about two pixels from being A and then I went through a series of races where I was just getting pummeled every single time. And I went right away back to mid B and I just got completely disillusioned. And I thought I would work on my racecraft with the daily with the the lobbies our daily lobbies and i feel now that i'm a little bit better not a lot but a little and uh, i started off with the stcc knowing that that would be relatively hard racing but fair and it's proved to be thus and now um i've got joe and lauren away this weekend they're in barcelona so i thought i would head out into the dailies today and just see what we can do my plan come July is to do daily races Monday to Friday now those of you that do lobby racing with me don't fret the lobby racing is still an extremely important part of my day I thoroughly enjoy getting out on track with you guys and I learn so much every day that is still going to happen between 9 and 11 or 9 and 11 plus but in particular on, well, pretty much every week, I want to find a couple of hours a day by moving my schedule around when I can do some daily races, which I'll get back to streaming. And that way, those of you that want to follow my daily race progress, which some of you have been asking me about, asking when I'm going to get back into the dailies, you'll be able to follow that progress. And those of you that want to simply join me in the evening to... Um, do the lobby racing well we'll be able to do that as well so it's going to be a little bit of a catch um, not going to be a catch 22 it's going to be um, I don't know what it is it's going to be good <laughs> I've just got to talk to my boss and see if I can move my daily hours around a little bit which I hope will be okay that's going to be my plan for July uh, that's when Lauren will be uh, moving into her house and I'll ha have access to my um, my games room again where my rig is At the moment I can't use it during the day because she works in here and uh, I can't be in here while she's working for um, all sorts of reasons which I won't go into right now Come July, hopefully I'll be able to. Uh, 
Um, the room's too small for privacy screens. And um, we have an understanding that nobody is coming in this room when she's working at home. Basically, she works with uh, um, very private data. Uh, that's about as much as I am probably able to say and it means that um, it has to be kept away from prying eyes as it were and for all the time she's been working at home we uh, we do that just not the wall through <laughs> well like I said she's buying a house with her uh, boyfriend in well I think they've actually exchanged now monies were sent earlier this week Wednesday Thursday something like that a deposit was paid um, so they will be um, moving in sort of around about July time and um, Joe and I have got a holiday booked in July so assuming that happens and even that's in the balance at the moment um, Shortly after that, I'll be getting into the new schedule. And then I'll be taking the daily races a lot more seriously. I didn't change up early enough there. Yeah, we'll be taking the daily races a lot more seriously then got them to change up could be repeating myself a lot I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing as well as talking oh, I changed up too quickly then So we're not quite in the 133s anymore, we were when we were chasing the ghost car but now that I'm trying to do it on my own we're back in the 134s which I'm okay with whoa that's a slide I'm okay with the uh, 134s for the race and obviously what I'm trying to do is if I'm lucky enough to get out the front I want to be able to run without a reference car in front because I did get out in front earlier on and that last lap was nerve wracking TV's about to turn off. What setting do I need to change track? Or am I reading it out of context? I'm, I'm not seeing a lot of the chat, so that could be totally out of context. I just happened to look up and read that that comment. Oh, why am I leaning over to the left all the day? Oh, power save on the TV, yeah. Um, you're not going to believe this, but it either... it sort of like doesn't work um, but I am supposed to be getting a, a new TV at some point this one's very old I want to get one with a better refresh rate 
maybe an OLED one. I'd like to have another look. I, I did have a look at some point and either I've set it and it won't turn off or I couldn't find a setting or it hasn't got one, one or the other. I can't imagine that it doesn't have one. Um, but I, I know I've, I've looked a couple of times and I've always come to the conclusion I can't do anything with it. It's very old. I've had this TV for about, I don't know, 20, 25 years. Something like that. Maybe not quite. I might be exaggerating. Can't remember when we moved in. I think we had this TV just before we moved into the current house, which was in '98. Yeah, Speedy and I were talking about TVs and monitors the other day. I've always liked the Sony TVs. Found them to be pretty reliable. Not cheapest in the world. Um... What's the TV brand? It's a, it's a Sony Bravia, I think. Um, I, don't, I can't actually tell because all of the information about the TV is right behind a big plate that mounts on the back of the TV. Um, in fact, it's so old that some of the cables are behind the uh, Visa fixings or the VESA fixings. And I've had to put the, um, the fixings in differently, but it's... The wires actually behind it. Um, and of course, these days, all the wires, they come in at the side for wall mountings and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, wow, John's qualified in second. Are you racing, John, at the minute? Oh, good luck, my friend. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Good luck. Let us know how you get on, please. Let us know how you do. Are you doing a daily race or are you doing a a lobby somewhere? Right. Six. Let's get back into quality mode. So we're now not in the A's anymore. They've bumped us down out the A's. We're now just back in the B's where we belong. Um, PD have obviously decided, Mr. Morgan, you are not good enough to be as an A-rated racer. We're putting you back in the B's where you belong. Well, good luck, my friend. Oh, I've got Marley. I've got Bob Marley in front of me again. He got the better of me last time. Oh, that's got to be a penalty. He is way off the track. And I nearly followed him. Drive the track, Mitchell, not the car in front. How many times have I said that tonight? I don't think I gave him quite enough room on the exit there. He's just give me a gentle reminder. And rightly so. Whoa, we've got loads of bumping going into this one. Look at the neck. Oops, sorry, excuse me. They absolutely stopped on the apex there. 
to give me damage on the front. Thankfully, I haven't got a penalty for it. And uh, Mal, sorry for that. Whoa, what have we got going on up ahead? Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, the guy behind needs to be careful as well because we've got all sorts going on here. Holy smoly. Come on, guys. Calm down. Oh, come on. What the heck? Sorry, guys, for the language or whatever. Goodness me, what on earth was all that about? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, that's this one all over. And the DR wrecked. That was absolutely insane. Do you want to look at the replay of that one later on? If we do, at the end of this race, I need PlayStation at PlayStation Racer all over the screen so it screams orange at me and just say replay and I'll run the replay of this and we'll we'll have a look at the beginning of that race. If we if you don't remind me I will forget. For now, let's see if I can get back in amongst these guys three seconds behind I don't think I'm going to laps to go yay he's doing a daily race B as well cool I hope he's having a better, better daily race B than I'm having believe you me Right, I have been pushing the track limits a lot in this one to try and catch these guys. Where did I start? Did anybody remember where I started? He's second place. Yes. Cool. Wicked. Go on, Speedy. Is he looking like first at all? How's he going? Hey, 9010. Uh, yeah. 
we've just had the biggest the the biggest smash you can see i mean i've got punted off and got a half one and a half second penalty for being punted off earlier on because they put me into the barrier into here and in this race we've just had the most craziest craziest incident we're gonna have a look at it on the replay in a minute because this is my last one unfortunately um but on the whole we've actually had quite a nice night in fact i'm sorely tempted when lauren and joe go to bed tomorrow i might even jump on and see if this is still the daily i don't know when it swaps and i might might it's a very might in inverted commas i might try and do some of this tomorrow as well because um, I am actually quite enjoying this track and whilst this race doesn't really outline how we've done I've actually really enjoyed this evening so changing Sunday midnight okay well, like I said I can't guarantee Right, I need to con well I'm not gonna catch these guys am I so twelve after that. Oh what on earth what on earth happened? And I was right in the middle of the whole lot. He finished first. Woo! Go speedy. Yay! Wicked. 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 Um I can't quite re can't re quite read Tom's message for the moment. Oh, let's put those over there. Um you race well today, Mitchell, but now you look and something tired i am shattered i am really shattered um we've, we've done a lot of these races today and it's a different type of racing as well it's, it's not the respectful racing like we normally do it's it's tough i mean look my b and my s took an absolute hammering there uh where do we end up so almost back to the middle of the b so we've dropped back yet again um i'm going to do a picture of that um, just because i'm going to look and see how we finished up um, but you know, my B took a hammering there for, I don't think, I don't think I did anything wrong in that one. Uh, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. Uh, John, I heard that you've just won it. Well done, my friend. Well done. Mine was earlier on when I got my win. Your heart is, it's wicked. It's a wonderful feeling. A wonderful feeling. Do the, um... Get a replay of it and go back and see how you did. And uh, we're just about to look at the replay. I got absolutely pummeled in that one. Uh, there's some sort of incident. I don't know what happened, um, but we had an absolute mare of a race in that one. Uh, the guys were telling me, which I was racing, that how you were doing second and then got you first. So, um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. I love that. Right, replay. Oh, I can't remember where it happened. Um, I can't even remember if it's the first lap, the last lap. I don't know who was involved. Um, it was completely crazy, completely bonkers. Uh, but I'm glad I'm not the only one, John, whose heart is pounding out of his chest when you get a, a, a first place. Is that your first place, or have you got plenty beforehand? Um, my first place come few, few and far between. Right, okay, so I am now a couple of cars ahead of this one. I've chosen this one for no real apparent reason. I guess what we ought to do is put the old um, display all on, shouldn't we? So we did okay here. I'll just go forward a little bit. On board with me. Actually, I'll, I'll go with that on board with... Um, this guy quite pleased with my line through there oh that was bad it was all four wheels off the track there uh, he clobbered the wall the uh, that was Shiroko went through 
I'm really surprised I didn't get a penalty for that. I know I knew that I was going off the track and I did lift. Whether that's trick, somebody said to me the other day, if you're going off, come off the throttle. And if you're off the throttle, then uh, it doesn't register as being a penalty. I did give um, Kubo Hubble some room there, I think. Let me just go back a step. Um, sorry, guys. Um, did I give him room out of this corner? We've got a nice run up the inside, and I've stayed right over. Oh, no, I could have given him a bit more. That's why he gave me the knock up here. I, I, I wasn't over tight enough. I needed to be over a bit more, I think. Um, so, um, everything's all hunky all This got a bit messy in here. I ran into the back of Mal there, M4L. Uh, I ran into the back of him. I got really caught out with the... Um, with the braking into that corner. In fact, let me just have a little look uh, back a little bit more for that corner. I want to see what happened with some of the cars further back. I'm wondering whether this was part of what happened because uh, there's a massive concertina effect here. Everybody goes in really tight. You've got two, three cars bumping there. Those guys are having a fight. And if we just jump forward a little bit. Go on board with um, Mr. Marley, Bob Marley here. I don't think this was the one that we had the incident on. Oh yes it is, because we had this shenanigans going on up ahead that I tried to stay out of the way of. So I went really deep and kept over to the far side. Um, then I got into the mix there. Then the Scirocco goes up the inside. Then we got turned around. Let's just go back a bit. Just hit the wrong button. So uh, we're just on board with this guy. So th that, that was the start of it. These two having a bit of a, a bit of an argy bargy. Uh, then the um, hurricane got involved as well. Let's just go back and look at this from the hurricane's point of view. So you got a bit of argy bargy from these two, where the Ferrari goes over and gives him a good old whack. The Hurricane has nowhere to go and gets into the back of the Ferrari as well. Then this is all kicking off through here and unfortunately I went in a bit deep because I had the Scirocco charging up the inside of me. I noticed he was coming in hot as well. Then we got an uh, issue there. Then I round into the back. Then I got, I mean, crikey, then I into the wall. <laughs> crazy, 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 crazy. This all started here. I mean, how on earth am I supposed to get out of the way of that? I think that's just one of those things, isn't it? I've got absolutely nowhere to go. The car spins round. Uh, I then get um, hit as well. Just one of them things, I think. Complete craziness. I mean, the craziness carries on. You've got M4L pushing the other one off there. You've got these two going side by side. The uh, Bugatti not really giving much room. I think they settle down a little bit. The Bugatti backs out of that. I think from there it did sort of settle down a little bit, but um, unfortunately I got myself right in the mix and then running completely last at one point and um, just to get back to 12 or whatever it was I think was okay um, Mr M madness I just had someone put me into the wall and spun me I uh, get a five second penalty and a barrier collision penalty worked that out I had the same thing happen to me earlier on I got punted hard straight into the barrier I got a one and a half second but for you to get a penalty that hard five second that's horrible I mean, not only have you gone into the barrier and it's wrecked your race, you've got a massive penalty as well. Oh, and you're in third. It's, it's a ram fest out here tonight. Ram fest. And I am done with it. Done with it. Done with it. Done with it. Um, right. OK. Um, I am going to exit out of there. I have got to be up very early in the morning. So I'm going to call it a day there, guys. 
thank you ever so much for being with me this evening. Thank you ever so much for everybody that's helped me this afternoon. We did get a first place, which is a highlight of the night. Congratulations also to John for getting his first place as well. Speedy B, congratulations, my friend. Well done. Uh, anybody else that's racing tonight, good luck. I might be back with a few more of these for an hour or two tomorrow evening. It really depends and it'll be late, sort of like 10, half 10, 11 o'clock time. Um, it all depends on how I'm feeling and um, Joe and Lauren, etc. So don't bank on me being online, but if I am, you'll see me. Otherwise, we'll be back on Monday evening for more lobby racing and um, maybe having a look at the dailies. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, will I be entering the championship on Wednesday? A lot of people keep asking me about the championship. And the answer to that at the moment is a no. I, I entered the there's two recently we've had, haven't we? we had the the nations and the manufacturers, the nations I entered and fully ex intended to do them all. I managed to do two and that was it. Um, I then entered into the manufacturers with the intention of doing all of those. And I only got to do the first race. The main reason being is I don't race at the weekends. Saturday and Sunday is family time. And of course, one of the races on a Saturday. The other one is midweek. And as I said earlier, I don't know if you're around, I can't get in this room during the day midweek. I then finish work. I then take the dog out, have dinner, spend an hour, hour and a half with Joe downstairs before I then come up here at eight, half eight to start to get everything ready and the cable sorted out and stuff <coughs> um, for our lobby racing to start at nine o'clock. So the chances of me doing any of those races and being able to commit to them is not there at the moment. I'm hoping that will change in July, August when my personal um, situation changes. Um, that's not going to help me on the Saturday. But there is a chance that I might be able to get up just to do a half hour or an hour race on a Saturday. But it may well just be the very last race of the night. So it might be all or nothing. And for that reason, I need to get better on these racetracks in the sorts of cars that PD are running. So, again, um, I need to work on my skills. So sorry, mate, that was a very, very, very long answer. To a very quick question will i be entering the championship on wednesday i should have just answered that as no you know me i'm a jibber jabber i talk and talk and talk anyway guys thank you ever so much to everybody that has raced with me to see uh, not raced with me that has um, been helping me in the chat so much so much brilliant advice both earlier on this afternoon when i was racing in the first stream and also again in the second stream I want to do a shout out to Collar to Tom for constantly reminding me to upshift early. I think I'm getting there. It's sort of becoming a bit second nature. I can hear the engine noise. Occasionally I forget, uh, but I really, really appreciate the persistent and uh, persistent reminders. Sometimes that's what I need to get it in my old, slow brain. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your weekend, my friends. Stay well, stay safe. Enjoy your families. Enjoy your racing, whatever you're doing, just have a cracking, cracking, cracking time. And I'll be back. If I'm not back tomorrow, I'll be back nine o'clock in the evening, UK time for some lobby racing with you guys. I'll see you then. For now, smack the like button on the way out. If you're new around here, please smack the subscribe button. And thanks ever so much to everybody that is a subscriber and a member. I don't think I've asked for likes at all this evening. So that is it. Smack the like button. See you on Monday. Take care. Bye. Bye bye.